In this video, I will speak about Lunapic Editor, Photo Editor, and show you how to use this tool. When you first, you will first start it, you will see this uh, dashboard, and you can upload photo by clicking on Browse or Upload. They do the, the same thing. If you click here, click Browse, it will take you to your desktop or any other file you want to go to and choose a picture. Let's say I want this image. And this image actually is big. We can see the dimensions here is uh, 1585 uh, by 1585. You can scale the image. You can resize, scale, rotate, make a transparent background. But now let's resize the image. Let's say I want to resize this image uh, to be good, a good size for Facebook, like 1200 by 1200. How to do that? You can simply click here where it says scale image and do this. Type the size or simply move the, this button through this bar to the left. And as you can see, it was adjusted just a little bit more. And I will change to 1200 by 1200 and a place scaling. And now it says image resize to 1200 by 1200. Now I have the right size image for Facebook. Another method is to go in edit and resize image. And I can type this, the width and height of the image. Let's say I want to change this to 800 by 800 and then click resize and I change the image to 800 by 800. If you want, for, for example, to adjust the colors, the light level, the light levels, the um, you have a lot of options here, but the simplest way for what we need um, to, to do on Facebook, we just need to edit, to resize the image or crop. Let's say this image is not, is not a square. How to crop the image? You just come here where it says edit and choose the, the crop image feature. And it's very easy when you click on that it will show up here you may also use the simple crop tool i i recommend using the simple crop tool because it's simpler just click here where it says simple crop tool and what you can do actually you can drag and drop and uh, First, before, before cropping, you just need to select the shape and you want to always to make sure it's a square. In our case, I chose, I click again to make sure it's a square. Now, whenever I move this area, it will be a square, uh, a square and okay. I just want to crop this a little bit more just to show you how to do and adjust okay I can crop the image after I fix the frame I need to click here where it says crop image I click once now the image was cropped another tool Another feature actually I can use from here is transparent background. You just need to click on this and let's say I want to crop this cute cat and change the background to a different color. Now we have three options, magic, when, alpha, eraser or shapes, but I will use for now magic vent and um, all what we need to do is to click on the image and 
then crop or cut out and I will cut out this image and voila we have a transparent background very easy and it can be adjusted of course more in uh, if you know Photoshop but for now it's okay to have uh, this uh, uh, transparent background let's say how to change the I want to change the background to an, a different color what I will do then I need to go where it says effects and I can blend two images I will click on blend two images I need to choose a file and let's see where I have my wallpapers let's choose this and then I, I selected the file and I need to upload now uploading I just need to click continue on to paste and because this actually is overlay this color above this I need to switch the overlay swap the two images and I I make this I will make this smaller this kitty and place it here and as you can see I could change the I could change the background in minutes and I have a different background for this cute cat let's see I can make it bigger just drag and drop and adjust and when I consider it's good enough I need to click apply and it's ready I have a different background now this is how you use this tool you can create a transparent background change the background a different to a different color you can adjust the size by going to edit um, you can uh, scale the image or resize or crop you have these are the the most important options crop resize or scale image pick one more option where it says draw we have a text tool the text tool just in case you want to write something how to use this first you need to to you to pick a color click where it says pick and choose a color a color you want to the color you want to be let's choose for now white because the we have the background green and um, then let's type I just typed cute cat I can move the the text where, wherever I want up down to the right to the left just drag and drop very simple let's say I want it here I want this here I can change the font from from the drop down menu here I can change the size I can change the position and let's choose a different a different font this is a different font let's see another one chunker cute cat let's see another one lobster cute cat this is a little bit different and this one maybe this one is cute when okay let's say let's say I decided to place the text here and this is the text let's choose another one Simpson cute cat okay maybe different lobster let's see okay this one and I decided I want to be here we just need to click on apply text whether is this position or this position we have two buttons this one and this one and I click on this one and now I have the image with a different size with a different size with a different background and with a text on and if you let's say um, when you finish the when you, you just finish the picture the image and it's not uh, actually is not what you want it to be you have the history at the bottom 
you can choose again the picture let's say I want to be here to and I, I will choose the original and click on now I have the first image because I have the history at the bottom I can start from scratch if I'm not happy with what I created and as you can see you have we have the history here and we can choose any image let's say okay actually I want this which is smaller I can choose this I can choose the the original one and start from scratch it's up to you and this is all about this is uh, these are just uh, a few tips about how to use uh, Luna Peak and uh, I think it's easy just a short inter introduction and what uh, you also have tutorials about on this platform about uh, on how to use all these features but you can go through all and see what every single thing what it is actually this platform is free and so powerful they have a lot of uh, effects and um, filters and borders and uh, this drawing uh, tool which is uh, very nice you can adjust just you if you want to adjust the light levels the color the color saturation you can do so let's say I don't like this with I will test one with the black background and I will test one with a green which is this I just need to adjust resize actually the image and you can drag and drop simple like that or just type let's say I want a, a size image size 1200 by 1200 again one more time to show you how to do don't be scared if you see this um, distortion <laughs> you just need to type the size the width and height and click on resize and the image is at the right size and this was all about Luna Peak these are a few tips thank you for watching and see you in my next video